is up everybody welcome to north coast tactical so today uh i don't really have much planned uh i gotta go to the doctor's office get some tests done other than that uh nothing really exciting going on i've got some errands to run and i'm taking you guys with me so let's go to the car Oh yeah, man. Glorious Ohio weather in January. Two days ago. Two days ago it was like 50 degrees. And now it's covered. But that'll give me reason to get that thing going. Maybe do some shredding in the snow a little bit. This is wild. I mean, it snowed yesterday probably, I don't know, six, seven hours hard. You know, it's always a good day to go for a drive when I've got my baby riding right beside me. So just out of the doctor, that took forever. Uh, right now it's uh, almost one o'clock and I got a bunch of blood drawn, some tests and things that are going to be going on. Don't worry, I think everything's okay. Uh, but just to make sure and do some uh, routine checkups, um, you know, they'll be uh, letting me know, you know, if there's any problems or anything like that. Uh, so, but for right now, everything's good, so. This is going back on. Okay, now we're good to go. Let's go. All right, so it's been like, I don't know, a month since I've got my hair cut. So I'm here at the barber shop and I'm gonna get my hair cut because this is freaking ridiculous. I can't handle it anymore. So I'm going to get my hair cut right now at this place right here, Hearts. Old school barber shop there. Bam, even got the little spinny thing right out of the barber pole. Check it out. Yeah, that's better, huh? Yeah. A little hard part going on. Uh, they did a great job at uh, Hart's Barbershop. Hart's Barbershop. They even take the uh, straight razor and the stuff and they do in the back of your neck and uh, straight razor. Yes, absolutely love it. Love the old school kind of atmosphere. And, and when I went in there, there was nobody else in there, and he was playing a Nintendo Switch. Yes, sir. Good job. All right. It's nice meeting you. Appreciate it. Thank you for the haircut. And uh, hopefully all the stuff we talked about uh, we can get together on soon. So uh, thanks again, man. All right, but now, uh, so uh, doctor, check. Um, haircut, check. Um, I'm hungry. It's 1.30, and I haven't eaten anything. So I'm going to go find something to eat because I'm starving. Mr. Hero something something I don't remember. Waffle fries are the best french fries. Change my mind. So <clears throat> I don't know if like Mr. Hero is like like a Cleveland area Ohio type thing. <clears throat> but if you don't if you've never had Roman burger and you don't like Roman burgers, who are you? How are you a person? I don't understand. I mean, look at this thing. Did you just look at how amazing it is? And then they give you their waffle fries. And they give you cheese dipping sauce. This is the greatest place ever. Right? Is like the Roman burger is like the greatest. Like, it's just the best. Yes? What'd um, you get? Um, a ramen burger. Yeah, it's darn right you did. <laughs> and waffle fries? <laughs> and cheese. And cheese. So are waffle fries the best fries ever? Yeah. 
Seriously? Yes, they are? Yeah? Yeah. 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 You're darn right they are. <laughs> Where'd you go? Hey, you like waffle fries? I think I missed all that. You like waffle fries? Hey, this is a PG channel. Say yes, Daddy. Yes, Daddy. Yeah, good job, buddy. All right, so some time has passed uh, since the last time you guys saw me. Uh, I wasn't feeling very well. But right now, uh, I've got some orders that need filled, so I'm going to go out to the shop, and I'm going to start filling some holster orders uh, and see how that goes. And uh, hopefully I start to feel a little bit better. So, uh, I don't know. I'll take you guys out there with me, uh, you know, kind of talk for a little bit. And then I got to get to work. So, I will see you in the shop. Yikes, man. My desk is a total disaster. Um, can't really work with it like this. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean it. Right now. Ah, much better. Now I can get to work. Quick tip for you guys. Um, when you are taking a Glock apart, there's a little spring down in here uh, for your magazine release um, that can be kind of tricky to get to. And I have found that this little guy right here, let me focus, this little thing right here is the best tool for getting that out of there. It's a little spring or a little uh, hook uh, that hooks into that spring there. So this is the best tool that I've found uh, for getting that spring out of a Glock. I told you guys in a live stream a little while ago that I would kind of show you guys old holsters uh, from like when I started. So I figured that I would do that now since I'm out here and uh, I uh, just finished up a bunch of work, so uh, we just made this guy right here. And that is for Glock 26. And that's right over here. So, uh, yeah, so I figured I'd kind of go over, show you guys some of the stuff that I used to make. Uh, let's start off with the very first holster that I ever made. Yeah, there it is. In all its glorious wonder, so much definition, you won't even believe. All right, so, uh, yeah, there's that. Uh, how about the first outside the waistband holster I ever made? Yeah. Yeah, dummy, you used the wrong side of the Kydex on the outside. Yep, shiny side goes inside. That is for the Glock 43. A little bit better definition, but all kinds of bad. And let's look at the back. And yeah, look at those holes right there. Uh, focus. Yeah, those are great. Anyway, moving on. How about the second outside the waistband holster I ever made? Uh, this one was for a Glock 17 with some kind of light, it looks like. Uh, yeah, um, pretty terrible. Uh, inside the waistbands, let's see, here's the second inside the waistband uh, I ever tried to make right here. Uh, I don't remember what that was for. Probably the 43. No, this was for an, uh, an LC9. Yep. I think. I don't know, actually. That's pretty sad. Uh, another one over here. Uh, again, so terrible that I don't know what it is. Um, this was, this is probably the third. Uh, this was for a Glock 23 uh, for my buddy Justin. And holy crap, just <laughs> you, you learn, you learn. And then this is uh, uh, H and K, I think. So getting a little bit better, learned a lot. Okay, 
Okay, that actually kind of looks like a holster. Uh, this was for the 43 uh, that I made for myself, actually. Still not not terrible definition. Still not great. Oh god, this was this was a 1911 holster I made for myself like way back. Next. Um, this was a holster I made for my buddy Jeff, and this was for actually that that Glock 26 right there. Yikes. Uh, this was the first appendix rig that I ever made for the Glock 43. Uh, I wore this for a long time, actually. Um, and I did, I did like it, but I mean, obviously now we do much better quality work than this. Um, but this is, I'll hold on to this forever because this is part of that video that I made about concealed carry tips. And it's got like... I don't know, like uh, 85,000 views, which is awesome. So um, I'll hold on to this for forever, probably. Uh, this was the first, <clears throat> the first ever uh, double layered Kydex holster I ever tried to make. And yikes, man, this is just, look at how big this thing is. It's got two different screws. Yikes, uh, this was another appendix rig uh, that was a fail, uh, so it goes on the wall of shame. Uh, really nice definition, but uh, I messed up along the trigger guard area over here, um, and the uh, trigger was slightly exposed, so I had to scrap this thing. And then it brings me down to these two right here. So this is my, my new everyday carry uh, holster right here that I made myself and this is for my Glock 43 and this is vacuum formed and as you can see it's much better looking not only is it much better looking but the retention is ridiculous listen to this yeah not even gonna try that with uh, uh, one of those so uh, and then this is a Glock uh, 17 with the TLR 1 holster that I just made uh, we'll get a little, little dirt on it um, this is also vacuum formed so yes we have come a long way since that giant pile of garbage over there uh, to these very nice vacuum formed holsters so uh i don't i guess don't ever quit at what you're doing just keep going and uh you know it'll all it'll all get better so yeah i'm somebody who really doesn't like diving into like new things especially when i'm not good at it um so holsters like was like this thing that i had no clue about i taught myself everything and i just i was not good at it uh, at the beginning but you, you keep going, you keep learning, you keep doing, and eventually it, it starts to get easier. Things You start figuring out ways. You reach out to people who know what they're doing. They give you advice, um, and, and it just helps so much. So um, I'm, I'm happy. Uh, I love doing this, and I'm very grateful for all the people who have uh, helped me along the way, who've given me advice, uh, who've, you know, sent me stuff, who, who have bought holsters for me. Thank you guys so much. Uh, it means more to me than you'll ever know. Thank you guys. I really do appreciate it. All right, guys, that's going to do it for us. Thank you so much for being here and spending the day with me. I appreciate it. Uh, hopefully we will be getting some gun content coming very soon, but next video, we will be doing our AR-15 magazine giveaway. We're giving away a bunch of magazines, so you're going to want to enter that. Stay tuned. Watch the next video. Uh, so thank you guys for being here. I appreciate you very much. If you haven't yet, please consider clicking that subscribe button as we make videos like this every single week. Also, remember to hit the bell to get notified when we make new content just like this. Thank you guys for watching once again. You know the drill. Stay humble, stay free, stay safe, 
and we'll see you guys next time.